Shane Burgos is 30 years of age. Billy Quarantella will be 33 next month. Burgos, the taller man by an inch. Both fighters coming in half a pound below the 146 pound featherweight limit. Billy Q, last four fights at the UFC Apex. Safe to say he's excited to have a capacity crowd at Madison Square Garden Fight. supporting him tonight. Fortune favors the Braves, brought to you by Crypto.com, the fastest growing crypto platform in the world. Download now. Burgos in white, Quarantello in blue. Oh! Good right hand over the top by Quarantillo and a couple of good uppercuts as well. And this is what Quarantillo wants to do. Quarantello trains under UFC veteran Matt Arroyo. Dan Rawlings, his longtime Muay Thai coach. Burgos is so big for 145. It's hard to imagine that he actually makes the weight. Six knockouts in a row and in that last fight. But oh. Billy Q's doing a good job of landing that jab. That jab has already busted up the nose of Shane Burgos. Shane just landed a very strong low kick. Right hand of Burgos momentarily backs up Quarantello, who now lands an uppercut. Billy Q super efficient early on, landing north of 60% of his strike attempts through half a round. Burgos was number nine in the world. Excuse me, Joe, going into that Barboza fight now, 14th. I was just going to say, there's quite a bit of blood coming out of the nose of Shane Burgos. It's that jab, man. The Billy Portillo, it's landing. He's popping. He's getting into the... He's getting... It. Look at that. He's just... I mean, so much activity for Portillo. When you... Sorry, Joe. No worries. When you watch him technically, Joe, Burgos looks cleaner. But Portillo just keeps throwing and throwing and throwing. Oh, another jab from Quarantello. The jab's very accurate. And they add up. Man, Billy Q's hands look fast tonight. I'm sure Antonio Tarver likes what he's seeing. Ooh! Oh. Beautiful level change. And right back to work on the jab. He's taking quite a few of those little calf kicks, though, Joe. That last one's very strong. Oh! Oh, he hurt him. Oh, my goodness, what a right hand. Now Burgos changing up the level, goes to the body. Now back to work with the jab. And that's how you know Shane's a good boxer. Instead of head hunting, he dig body shot first to try to change your... Reactions level. Also, he gave him a look like the right hand was coming to try to open up for that left to the body. Another good right hand by Shane. But still, Billy keeps popping at him. Look at that again. Portillo won't stop. He's going to just keep doing this. And it's going to be up to Shane to be able to match this pace of Portillo. Inside Madison Square Garden, round two here. Shane. Oh, yeah, goodness. Shane Burgos with some solid shots, but Billy Quarantillo will not be deterred. Oh! So the back fist partially lands for Billy. And Burgos is doing a really good job of landing in tight whenever they come together. And you notice Burgos every now and again will try to dig that left hand right up under the elbow of Billy Quarantillo. Quarantillo never throws anything to the body. It's all up at the head. That's why you see Shane's head constantly moving left to right, left to right. Go Puff, the official on-demand delivery partner of UFC 268. Order anything in seconds and get it all delivered in minutes. Download tonight and see just how instant delivery can get. Nicely timed inside leg kick is there for Burgos. The jab up. You know, this is certain guys, well, very nice inside trip. This is one girl. Yep, just seem to have right. a natural cart. Caden Velasquez, another one. They just have a weird natural advantage, just like some folks have a natural advantage of power. 
But Shane's going, now Shane's going with him and he's landing a little bit more. But it's in those middle moments, whenever he's kind of trying to process, Portillo's just throwing. Yeah. And that's where he's building this strike advantage. And Shane's face is a mess right now. Another right, nice right hand by, oh, good inside kick. But just, you, you don't deter him, it's crazy. And Billy is absolutely let. Oh, good shots. Nice. Oh, beautiful. And an elbow as well by Shane. Real good and close that Burgos. Burgos is so good and tight. It's easy to miss what he's landing. These guys separated by just one significant strike landed. Wow. That Billy Q jab. I think the crowd sort of resetting after <laughs> yeah. that Gaethje Chandler noise. Yeah, they would be going crazy otherwise. They would be going crazy watching this fight. Because these guys are just in a phone booth the whole time. Shane is doing a really good job of chopping those legs. And there he hits it again. Oh. Morantella was expectant that he would get this type of fight. But he oh. certainly... That one was a problem. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. Quarantillo's hurt. Oh! Oh! oh Quarantillo better raise that guard. Oh, Shane is teeing off. Oh, my goodness. Quarantillo I mean, losing his fundamentals a little bit late in the round. He's hurt bad. Oh, body shot, big body shot, a right hand. Burgos is on fire here. But Quarantillo firing back. Oh, there we go, the crowd's alive now. <laughs> And here's the end of that round. Look at that right hand over the top by Corantillo. Boom! Burgos hits him with the right hand and has him in real trouble. And another one. And the problem is also Billy's leg. Billy's leg in the corner, they indicated that they wanted him to switch to southpaw. I mean, what a great start to the third round. But my cousin just texted me, said it's like dating Beyonce, Beyonce and then trying to go back to your high school sweetheart. The kid, Jimmy Crew right. in Florida. Yes. I mean, Cejudo had in the Mighty Mouse fight. Right hand is there for Burgos. Oh my I mean, Billy is just, he's a one legged fighter now. That leg's giving out, Joe. His corner told him to go southpaw. He, I don't think he can at this point. No, he's hurt. He's, but look, he's a warrior. I mean, Shane is in a position to stop him with leg kicks and he just gets separation. It's hard to get separation, though, because the guy keeps going forward. He's like a zombie. Oh, nicely placed knee there by Burgos. Elbow over the top by Burgos. But look, Quarantello firing back. Swinging haymakers. It doesn't give Shane any air. No room to breathe. Elbow over the top. Is when you're watching these fighters fighting close, clinching, grappling. All these short strikes that they take on right. the inside. It truly is a, a war of attrition when you get close to someone like that. Thank you for making the point. Burgos just has to get a couple leg kicks off on him and it could be done. The coaches are yelling, show your heart. And I'm telling you, you don't need to show any more. The dude has got tremendous heart. And by the way, Max Holloway, if you're out there, we know that record was for a three-round fight. Oh. I imagine you've landed more. Oh, nice body shot yeah. in there, man. Oh. oh. Beautiful job by Shane there. Threading the leg, creating the angle. What a fight. What a fight. What, what a, a division. Fight. And if nothing else, Billy Quarantello has proved he certainly can hang with the top 15 at 145 pounds. An absolute war turned in. Shane Burgos and Billy Quarantello. We look back at some of the action. Oh, and there, there were a lot of those trips that resulted in sort of knockdowns for Burgos. Well, you know what happened was Billy Quarantello fought Two very good rounds, the first and second. But by the end of the round, he got knocked down. And he got hurt. And those rounds were swaying over to Burgos. But it showed you how tough Billy Quarantillo is by going into the third round, by initiating the pressure. But this is a tremendous fight. I mean, these guys threw, 
I mean, 700 and something strikes between the two of them. They really went at it, and both guys win in this situation. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 29-28, for the winner, by unanimous decision, Hurricane!